Hello everyone, in this video tutorial we will learn that how to download different data sets from Global Mapper. Open your Global Mapper and load your area of interest for which you want to uh, download the data. So first I will open the data file. You can also open the data uh, files from here while clicking on this. Uh, open data files or you can go to the file and open data files so I will add my area of interest this is my area of interest now I will select file now go uh, download online imagery topo terrain maps you can click on this and a lot of data are available here we can also access this tool from here connect connect to online data you can also click here yes so it provides the popular sources for the to download your data premium contents covid-19 aviation charts different data sets are available you can download and check and you can try by yourself all of this i will try uh, some of the data sets now let me open this popular sources this is aster digital elevation model which is one arc second resolution one arc second resolution mean that the resolution of this digital elevation model will be 30 meters now we also have uh, nasa dm Elevation data one arc second resolution SRTM Aster. This is SRTM Shuttle Art Tomographic Mission uh, Digital Elevation Model Worldwide Elevation Data. This is also 30 meter resolution. And for United States, we have uh, 10 meter resolution as well as even 1 meter resolution are also available for United States. You can also download topo maps, elevation, USGS world imageries, world street map, and world topo map. We will try some of the data set from here. First of all, I will download Aster DEM. I will select it. Now come here and draw a box here. So this is my area of interest. Now I will draw a box like this and now click ok and connect click connect so data has been downloaded to the global mapper now you can export this global mapper digital elevation mo uh, model from here so uncheck the area of interest and now go to the file and export from export you can export is it in the image format but you know, when you export it in the image format this digital elevation model will don't have the elevation data in build so for this purpose we will export elevation grid format now select the proper uh, file type format so I will select GTIF. GTIF is by default already selected. So you can say, um, find it here and you can select the GTIF. GTIF. Okay. Now click OK. So you can change uh, the vertical unit as well if you want. I will not change it, but you can also change it from here. If you need the uh, digital elevation model. Uh, in the in feeds you can uh, select feeds inches or millimeter miles you can also resample it in uh, you can use different interpolation technique techniques by cubic interpolation is already selected this is best one so it's already been selected I will leave it as uh, default uh, here the compression in the compression different types of compressions are available but i will select no compression we don't need any compression so export bounds if you need to export some some of the part of 
this digital elevation model you can you you can draw a box and select that part and only that area will be exported like draw box and if I need this area to be exported so I will select it and click OK and this area will be only exported so for now I will cancel it now click OK I will select my folder DEM now save it it will take a certain time and will be exported now the file has been exported now let me check it in the in in my folder go to desktop global mapper this global mapper has been exported so to view it on google earth you can drag and drop in the google earth so you don't you will not see any um, digital elevation model only the area of the uh, digital elevation model for this to visualize it i will browse it once again from here and go to that global mapper fo uh, folder and select the your digital elevation model and now open it again so you can see now your digital elevation model has been downloaded successfully and we can visualize it in the global uh, in the google apps to visualize it in the arcgis pro you can add data go to the add data and from here navigate to your folder where the you have saved the digital elevation model i will go to the desktop global mapper data and who's the tip file yes if you can you can see that our imagery has been rotated so we can change uh, the rotation of uh, this imagery to zero go to the uh, right click on the map go to the properties and in general change this rotation change uh, make it zero all right okay so your uh, our imagery has been corrected and now it in the uh, 360 or zero direction so you can visualize your digital elevation model here now all right if you want to change the color of the digital elevation model go to the symbology and in the symbology the stretch has al already selected and now select the color for it so this is our digital elevation model now click on the raster and select linear pearl now you can see that your digital elevation model now to download other data set first unload this file this digital elevation model right click on it and close unload now go to the download online imageries first uh, select this so that i could uh, check it and now go to the online imageries at the download and uh, now we will download word imagery street map or uh, 
backward top map so I will go for the word imagery now drop box and ok connect it so the imagery will be downloaded here like this and you can see the imagery now I will unload it and once again we will go to on download imageries and now I will download street map now connect it or you can download the world topo map dropbox and connect it like this you can download different data set from here you can also download aviation charts bathymetry data country data environment geological maps data but the geological uh, map data is just uh, is only available for the uh, US and United Kingdoms United Kingdom and United, Stra United States these are the imageries from the Copernicus open access hub and this is Landsat 8 global imagery you can explore all these imageries and all the data set from here.